All right, guys, so I, I am just in such a great mood. Do you know what really kills my mood and like what really just brings me down and kills my great mood and makes me want to commit ve vehicle homicide is bullying, okay? A bullying is just not cool, guys, okay? Do you understand me? This is my anti-bullying ad, okay? Schizophrenic lifting content. And there are certain reasons why bullying isn't cool. It's just like, you know, let, like maybe that person isn't having a good day or maybe that person has their parents at home going through a divorce or something or, you know, they just got laid off from their job but then like their wife uh, cheated on them with the dog and, you know, left them. It's really not cool, man. Hey guys, the guy I thought was my boyfriend turned out to be a sexual predator. So I had... I was trying to do something with this video and I was like trying to be like, you know, more like a positive thing and I didn't even watch any of her TikToks because it's just like I found her page and I just think that she's like a funny person. Just, you know, it's just like a really funny person and I really and I really enjoy her personality on the TikTok application and I was not expecting this at all. I did not expect that the first video that I click on to be this. I had to call the police on him. They wanted to arrest him. All right. All right. This is to all you fucking jokers trying to ruin me. Right. Making me say shit like micro penis. Making me think. You see, like, dude. <laughs> get the first, middle, and last name. How fucking rude. How childish can you fucking be? Seriously, quit it. Quit it, guys. Fucking stop. Like, stop bullying these people like, on the internet, bro. Stop leaving hate comments. It's pointless. Well, guys, I don't know if I'm pregnant, if I have a kidney infection, if it's an STD from a sexual predator, but I'm on my way to the emergency room at the bus stop. Look at the Like, is she. Like, there's so much going on. She said so much in 11 seconds. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much going on. I don't even know what's happening. Why? She can't tell if she's pregnant or has an STD or a kidney infection. Jesus Christ. And then, like, you want to get up here in, like, the comments section talking about... I mean, seven to ten times trying to get blood out of my rolling diabetic veins. It's going to be horrible. I'm not looking forward to the pain. But, um, my phone's at 24%. So, don't know if I'll be able to make another post till I get back from the hospital. Hold on. Let's... Look at the comments here. This is this is this is the top comment saying, "Ain't no way you screaming this on a bus." <laughs> Please, don't tell she's actually on a public bus. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm about to sneeze from all the pepper. When will I ever learn? Oh, when will when, when will I learn? <laughs> There's so much going on in 11 seconds. That was only 11 seconds. Why did you throw a slice of cheese in there? That was my first question. Second off, why is there so much pepper? <laughs> I just, uh, dude, I'm looking at the comment section right here. It says, Sne uh, sneezy eggs, I mean, cheesy eggs. I'm done. Uh, no. Okay, guys, I can't believe I'm saying this on TikTok, but it's time to be honest. It really is. Enough is enough. The reason I support the gay, LGBT, furry, and trans community is because I've always, I've always thought that somewhere deep down inside, I'm a lesbian. Yes. Me and men never work out because men can be so damn fucked up. But I... I mean, if she attracts... Uh I can totally understand on where she's coming from. I mean, not... I mean, bears. If she attracts bears. Hey guys, the craziest thing just happened to me. Can anybody explain how the empty toilet paper roll ended up on the inside of my pants and fell out my pant leg while I'm walking in the store for everybody to see? Is this satire? I think this is satire. Honest to God, I really think this is kind of satire. Cause hey, friends, family, TikTok followers, here's part two of Broccoli Cheese Cheddar. 
Fuck, it's about a centimeter from the damn top. I hope this shit doesn't overflow. I almost feel... Top comments, me on my private story. Some people truly are naturally hilarious. That's what I'm saying. It's... And she has that. She's just naturally funny without even trying. It's like, it's just amazing. I don't know. I can't tell if this is satire or not, but she seems pretty serious. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, damn, you guys. I was suspended off TikTok Live until... I can't go on live until my birthday, December 19th. Because they said I was being racist just because I said I love black men. I was absolutely not being racist. Uh, what? <laughs> what? Uh, bro, it, I can't even say too much. I'm sorry. I can't even. And you're cooking up a storm. Fried chicken. On the new pots of pan. There's no seasoning on that chicken. There, there, there's like, there's like a, there, you know, there's like a pinch of seasoning. There's like a, there's like a pinch of pepper on there. Not even seasoning. There's just, there's just a pinch of pepper on each of those pieces of chicken. I swear on every, that's what, how are you frying up the chicken? You, you're, you're supposed to put it in batter. What do you, what do you? Well, guys, here in Iowa, I just thought I'd show you how cold it is in my apartment. Jeez Louise, look how I'm dressed. And I'm still fucking cold. Sweatpants, stretch pants. A sweater, a hoodie, a beanie, a blanket, and two socks, and I'm still fucking freezing. The building won't fix the heater until they fix the boiler. Jeez Louise. First world problems, man. Shit. It's, man, I crazy. I, uh, man, I, I don't know if, if I can continue on with this, to be honest with you. All right, let's just... I thought I would take this time to tell you guys what happened in the subway bathroom the other night. The other okay, so I just came to the realization that she reminds me of EDP445 before he was caught meeting up with a 13-year-old to have uh, cupcakes together. So that's what this reminds me of. And like, this just uh, reminded me of uh, that video of how he blew up the, chi the uh, Chipotle bathroom. I mean, he didn't actually like, you know, blow it up, you know, like, uh, awesome. Life. Why did I say that? Like, he took a large shit in the toilet of a chipotle and clogged it and then he's just running out he, you know he's like in like the parking lot running it like he's recording himself telling the story like that's what this reminds me of the other day i wasn't gonna tell you guys but fuck it why the hell not i've told you guys everything else right listen your language watch it ma'am so i walked in the subway and i told the guy i'm gonna buy a sandwich after i use the bathroom which i was but I was in such a hurry to get to the toilet that by the time I pulled down my pants before I even sat on the toilet I was already pooping. It was all over the toilet seat, all over the porcelain part of the toilet and when I stood up to get dressed I had poop all over my chest. Hey, yeah, now nah, we're done. Yeah, now nah, this is over. This this video is done. We're done. And, uh, yeah, now nah, we're yeah, but yeah, now nah, we're done with this. Anyways, guys, so about like the anti-bullying, stop with like the hate comments. Spread spread po positivity and love, just like this woman. Okay, maybe you can't be uh, naturally funny like her, and maybe you're just jealous, honestly, because you know, like her, you know, like her pockets are probably big too. She may she you know she has a lot of TikTok followers, so you know she's probably you know a swimming in that money. You feel me? And uh, you're just probably jealous, honestly. So, hey, guys, just leave people alone. Mind your business. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, we live in the United States of America. St stay black. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, bro.